Where are my minorities at? Make some noise one time. So I can... All right, good, good, good. Wait, somebody white was clapping. Are you just a fan? What happened? <laughs> All right, welcome to the club. Just for the night, you could be. Now, I like to, you know what I like to do sometimes for uh, good white people? I like to create a safe space for the whites. That's what I'd like to do right now. If you're white, go ahead and give it up for yourself one time. <laughs> this guy was like, is this a trick? That's a no, 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 no. That's, that's not why I came. No, it's not a trick. I feel it's, it's hard to be white, you know? Everybody's blaming you for stuff, you know, for good reason, but it's tough. That's, okay. and plus, white people are going extinct. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, by the year, I think 2040, white people are going to be the minority. Uh, so I think it's my job as a current minority to fill you guys in on what's in store. <laughs> Give you a, a quick crash course. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, you know, tip for being a minority. You guys know how you got rights? <laughs> Kiss those goodbye. <laughs> but on the flip side, your potato salad will be banging. So <laughs> a couple of things to look forward to. That's, it's not all bad, is what I'm saying, you know. Gotta save white people, man. What are we gonna do? I don't wanna lose you guys. <laughs> Gotta do something, man. <laughs> Hop on Twitter or some shit. You know. For real, hashtag save Becky or something, you know. For, it won't be long before we start seeing sad commercials trying to save white people. Right, just be watching TV, you see a commercial of a white woman just shaking, a bunch of flies everywhere. <laughs> Starbucks containers on the ground. <laughs> Morgan Freeman just steps in a frame for just 50 cents a day. <laughs> save the life for just the cost of a pumpkin spice latte a week. <laughs> save Becky, man. Gotta save you guys, man. I like to look on the positive, though, you know? It's a lot of, a lot of shit you could be mad at, you know? Some stuff's going right, a little bit, you know? Joe Biden's out here doing his best. It's the best I can say. You know? Isn't that bad? Well, the best thing you can say about a president is the man is trying. That's even wrong. It's, I don't care whether you love Biden or hate him. Gotta admit one thing. The man died four years ago. That's, <laughs> dad, you see him? There's strings and shit. He's like, oh. <laughs> Weakened at Biden. So. Right. Now nah, I kid the guy. He's just old, right? It's fucking... Old as fuck, man. What is, what is it with all these old people not dying? What's happening, right? Like, you remember back in the day when old people would just die? Now they're living so long. We gotta have a, a limit. We gotta do something, right? Because the medicine is too good now. We got, you know, vaccines and uh, uh, Flintstone chewables. So people are... <laughs> Don't fuck with the Flintstone, you know what I mean? <laughs> but now people are living too long, you know? We, we need a limit, right? So be, to run for president, you gotta be 35. Right? So the oldest you can be, I think the cutoff, it should be like 60, yeah. right? Maybe 65, that's it. If you're older than that, sit down. <laughs> we don't want any of what you got to offer. That's it, right? Fucking sit your old ass down. Nobody wants anything. Let the young people have it. I, every, I'm tired of seeing all these old farts. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, every time I see Nancy Pelosi, she's always shaking. <laughs> Talking about the deficit. <laughs> How you gonna balance a budget? You can't even balance yourself, bitch. Sit down. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. I'm not, I don't wanna deal with that shit, man. Old as fuck. How you 80 years old trying to run the country? I don't even trust you running a thermostat. Don't touch nothing, all right? Let the young people do it. It's fucking old as fuck, man. What are you gonna do, man? Now, I don't want to just be shitting on Biden, you know, I don't want to just be, he did one thing that was, I thought, cool, he pulled out of Afghanistan, which was, uh, you know, it could have went better. <laughs> You're right, you know, wasn't smooth, but I'm just saying, it was time, it was time to do that shit, man. You know, 20 years, that's how long we were over there. Too long. You know, that war is so old, R. Kelly wouldn't be on it. And you know, <laughs> too long. R. R. Kelly would conveniently miss that war. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but, uh, no, man, you know, it's not all bad. And he pulled out, which is cool, man. And it was kind of like a low-key flex on Obama. You know, because that was a big thing. Obama, he said he was going to do that. I remember in the beginning, Obama was very anti-war. Remember that? In the beginning, Obama would come out and be like, uh, <laughs> bring our troops home. Uh, bring them on home. And towards the end, he was like, my bad. 
Uh, you know. Can't get mad at Obama, that's Obama. Smooth, too smooth to get mad at him, man. He's the best. Obama's the best politician we've ever had. Right? Absolutely. Best po it's not gonna get better than Obama, even if you disagree with him, you still gotta admit he had skills. <laughs> For real. I'm, I'm sure there's racist people who's like, well, he might be a nigger, but he's smooth. <laughs> Listen to him, see what he has to say. I'm just saying, you know, like, bro, like he was so smooth. Because the mark of a good politician is what, like, to, to get people riled up without actually saying anything. Obama was great at that. Never had to say anything. Just his presence was enough. That's like good he was. For real, no matter what happened, Obama would come out and be like, uh, now uh, the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. <laughs> what might be right for you uh, may not be right for some. Cause it takes different strokes. Thank you. Good night. He's like, oh shit, Obama got bars, son. He's like, <laughs> say shit, but I feel better. You know what I mean? Obama, especially to black people, Obama to, <laughs> to America was kind of like weed is the cancer patients. <laughs> like he didn't cure anything, but he helped us sleep at night. That nigga. <laughs> but like I said, you gotta focus on the positives, man. You know, not all bad. Like a little good news that happened. Uh, they're sending the three white guys that murdered Aubrey to jail for life. That's great, yeah. Good work, good work. That's awesome. You know, now that, that's not justice, but it's something. I'm glad they did that. Although part of me was hoping that they would let him go just because I wanted some more free shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was ready to riot. Am I the only one? I was, like, I was standing back and standing by, like hopscotch. I was, like, <laughs> I was watching that trial with my phone in one hand and a brick in the other. <laughs> Chilling outside a Foot Locker, like, come on, not guilty. <laughs> Take him to jail, you know. <laughs> it's good too, man. You know, I think a lot of, a lot of. Ra I don't want to be rude. Do we have any uh, white supremacists? <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. One time it was one. A guy stood up. It was like me. I'm a white supremacist. <laughs> it caught me off guard. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what to do, so I just looked at him. I was like, "Thank you for your service." <laughs> Sounded like the right thing to say, you know. <laughs> and it worked. The guy sat down. You know? <laughs> He's like, you got damn right, about time. Some respect around here. This young man respects his elders. I do. I respect my elders. But you know, I think a lot, of, a lot of racism comes from ignorance, right? Racism mostly stems from ignorance because it's taught. Absolutely, right? Like nobody's, nobody's born racist. There's no such thing as a racist baby. <laughs> Nobody comes out their mom's womb like, fuck Jews, fucking Jews. <laughs> First words were build that wall. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's tough. We learn it, right? Like, it's a perfect example of some ignorant racism. Whoa, it's a racist baby over here. Oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> perfect example of ignorant racism. Uh, I was walking, and well, I was in Louisiana, and I just got done doing a show. So I was walking outside. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, well, you're not going to like what I'm about to say. <laughs> Wait for the story. Well, so what, a guy came up to me. I ran into uh, what I would refer to as a woke redneck, <laughs> which was pretty liberal redneck. Came up to me after the show, I was like, I want to shake your hand, man. You were hilarious. I said, thank you, brother. And then he wasn't done. He was like, I'm gonna let you know right now, man. I don't care if you're a nigger or not a nigger. I was like, what the fuck is you just saying? To me? <laughs> it was hard because it came from his heart, you know. So I was like. <laughs> He thought it was a good thing. He's like, I don't care what you are, man. Just don't fuck my wife. That's what he said. I laughed. I thought he was joking, but he was like, no, nah, I'm serious. Don't fuck her. I wonder how many black guys fuck this guy's wife. He was like, I got to get ahead of this shit. Listen, brother, that bitch is a hoe. She's going to try to fuck you, man. Just saying, man. Not all bad, you know? For real, like, you know, I'm seeing more diversity now, which is cool. Like, uh, you know, the new James Bond. Uh, was a black woman, which is pretty cool. You know, I want to see him make more uh, white people black. <laughs> really, I want to see a black version of Indiana Jones. Let's call it Montana Jackson. <laughs> In fact, I'm writing a couple of scripts that's just black versions of classic white movies. I'm writing a black version of Jaws. <laughs> it's called Big Ass Fish. Nothing happens in the movie because nobody gets in the water. That's the only thing. <laughs> right now, it's more of a short film. Uh, <laughs> as they walk up to the show, they're like, nope, fuck that. Space, <laughs> space, nigga. All right, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs>